Hi everyone, Emily here and I am back again to go over another how-to video. Today we're going to be talking about how to implement a virtual visual schedule. I'm going to be talking about an app that I absolutely love that I find to be one of the most helpful apps when trying to get your child to complete their daily routines. This app is known as Choice Works, and I'm going to talk about some really awesome features within the app and also just how to use their interface to create a visual schedule because that can kind of be a daunting task if you don't already know how to do so. So I'm going to go ahead, share my screen, and we're going to get right into learning about this app. First thing you wanna do is get the app downloaded onto your device. By doing so, simply go to the App Store, type in ChoiceWorks. It is all one word and it is plural, so make sure you keep that in mind. That's This is the icon of what it looks like. Um, now, one thing to keep in mind, whenever I am recommending resources, apps, subscriptions, really anything um, to parents or teachers, other people in the field, I try my best to make it at a low cost, if not free. I've already purchased this app, that's why you can't see the price, but typically there is a cost associated with Cho ChoiceWorks. Um, because of everything currently going on in the world, I think the app is a little bit cheaper. I think it's $9.99, typically it's $14.99. Um, so just keep that in mind. In my opinion, it's worth every penny because there's so many amazing features and it is super customizable, which is awesome for a schedule app. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about how to create your schedule and get into the specifics of those customizations. So once you download the app, this is what is going to pop up. I don't know where that's in my screen. Sorry about that. So once so like I said, this is what the app is going to look like when it's downloaded. It comes with some schedules already set that you can use kind of as a starting point. But the reason, in my opinion, to get this app is to make it customizable. So what you're going to want to do is create your own visual schedule based on the unique needs of your child. And by doing that, just go ahead and click the plus in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Once you do that, the screen will pop up. You want to click schedule. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. And then this is the screen that will show up once you click schedule. Lots of options to create what you want, as you can see. So name the schedule and then pick a title image for it. And then you can pick the first thing that you want to be on the schedule by clicking the green circular plus sign here. Once you click that green circular plus sign, this screen will pop up and you can start to add the first images and icons of the task that you want. Now, this is where it gets really cool because um, ChoiceWorks comes with hundreds of icons in their library. So you can simply search a keyword of say you want to do, you know, dishes. They probably, they're going to have an icon for dishes. They're going to have an icon for reading, for art, for cooking, whatever it is. But if there's something that, you don't see or if you're like you know what i want to use symbols that my child already knows or photographs so that it's even clearer for them then click this camera icon and we're gonna be brought to this page and this is where that customization can really happen because you can customize based on finding your own images based on recording your own audio or based on recording your own videos. So let's start with images. You can pick an image from Google or really anywhere on the internet for that matter, or you can pick images that of pictures you've already taken that are on the device, or you can take an image right there in real time of the task or item, object, whatever it is. So that's how to do the customization for images if you want a certain, so anytime you click on the icon and you put in a caption, ChoiceWorks will read that out to the learner. But if you want a specific audio, so if you have the icon as books, but you want the audio to be time to read or something like that to be the indicator, you can customize it, which is really nice that that is allowed in this app. Now, the last thing is the video component, which I think is amazing. I mean, right now you're, we're using videos as instruction to help you learn how to do something. I mean, it's 
in my opinion, the best way to learn because you can clearly see it and it encompasses all these components. Um, now the video you choose, same as picture, it can be something from the internet that you find or it can be a video of yourself performing the task or better yet, it's a video of the child doing it. So um, if the child sees themselves doing the task already, they can kind of say, oh, okay, I know what you're talking about. I've done it before. Oh, this is fun. I want to do it again. It kind of entices them that much more into doing it, which is really great um, because then it pairs the activity as being reinforcing, and that is always a good thing. So once you go ahead and do that, you can click save, and it will bring you back to the editing page. So um, for the sake of this video, I've gone ahead and created some icons and images already in there. So you can kind of see how it goes. If you want to take something out, simply click the red minus sign and it will be deleted. If you want to keep adding things on, the green plus sign will still be there. Now, another really amazing customizable option with ChoiceWorks is the timer option it has. If you want a certain task to be a certain length of time, you can add in a timer. There, my mouse is really touching today. Um, as I was saying, you can go ahead and add in a timer option. It's not necessary, you don't feel like you have to, but if there's a certain task that you want to be two minutes, you can make it two minutes and it will already be built in, which is fantastic. Once you feel um, good about the schedule you've put in, you can click save at the top right hand corner of your screen and then you'll be brought down to the visual schedule um, as a complete schedule. Now, for the sake of this video, I just went ahead and made this kind of random visual schedule. Um, and what'll happen is if you click the icon, it's going to say the audio of it. So it would say airplane. And then once the airplane activity is done, you can go ahead and it will slide over into all done. Now, I can't actually do that because this is just a screenshot, but when you put it in the all done column, um, there is audio feedback that says all done, which is really nice because the app will kind of do the talking for you, which I think is great because the more the child can just interact with the app and the app has that kind of stimulus control, if you will, and the, the better, because then you can kind of take a step back and one, you're doing less talking, and two, the child is able to have more independence and control over their environment, their daily life, which is always an amazing thing that we want to try to foster. So that is the basics of how to create the schedule and how to use it. Now, if you're like me, you might say, hey, my schedule in March looks a lot different than it does in April, and that's totally fine. If you need to edit your schedule based on the week, the day, the month, that can totally happen in ChoiceWorks. You can go ahead and click, I'm just gonna move you over a little. You can go ahead and click edit in the top right-hand corner of the screen. Um, in order to get to this page first, at the bottom of the app, you'll notice it says all schedules, and then it has some other features embedded within the app. I'm under the all um, category and I clicked edit so I can see all of my schedules and then when I click edit it brings me here and all these editing icons pop up. You want to click the pencil looking icon for whatever given schedule you want to edit and then it will bring you back to the editing screen which looks like this. So super simple. Um, to do that, which is nice because it just adds even more customization to our daily lives. Um, and as mentioned earlier, I talked about how ChoiceWorks has some other really cool features embedded within, and those include a waiting feature. The waiting feature is amazing because it allows you to create a waiting schedule based on the time of day. So maybe they're waiting for the bus, maybe they're waiting for something to eat, they're waiting for an activity to end, waiting for an activity to begin. You can create an icon or a video or a picture associated with those periods of waiting and set a timer so that the child can start to learn how to wait and understand how long to wait, what they're waiting for. You're really 
um, increasing their sense of predictability, which in turn is decreasing the likelihood of behaviors um, like meltdowns and things like that, because we, as we know, um, waiting is hard for anybody, especially children, um, and giving them resources and tools that help them understand why they're waiting and what waiting is, it's going to benefit them greatly. So that's one of the features that comes with it. Um, another feature is a feelings feature, which I know is a little abstract um, for some of our learners, but it's really great because they, ChoiceWorks tries to um, put images and videos along with what the learner might be feeling. So maybe you're doing a certain activity and then you want to go into, okay, does this activity make you feel this way or that way? And it just kind of adds in that. So I know that there, this short video packed in a lot of information and um, I would love to do a video in the future specific to the feelings and the waiting features in ChoiceWorks, but for the sake of today, I hope that the virtual visual schedule tutorial was helpful and I wish you all the best of luck implementing this in your homes with your kids. Thank you for watching the video. Have a wonderful day.